to show you what has been growing this whole entire time. Look at these roots coming out. I have to remove these now. Look at how good those look. You know, a lot of people mistake them for sea cucumbers on the beach. This right here is a huge mess. We are in the middle of cleaning the coral tank, but I want to show you what has been growing this whole entire time in this mini coral tank amongst corals. These are baby mangrove seeds, which will be little mangrove trees, but they work awesome as a filter cleaner. Excuse that noise in the background. It's my crazy ferret. Back to the mangroves. They are awesome as far as filter feeders and cleaners in a sense, because they do remove nitrates. Look at these roots coming out of the filter system. I have to remove these now because it's been a long time coming and a little bit of a neglect on my behalf of not not taking care of them, but just not observing how much they've progressed in their growth. Look at that. So I'm gonna remove them from the sponge filter where we have all of our filter media and the calcium balls, and we're gonna to try to fasten them, I think to the side over here, maybe with some cable ties and allow them to grow within the reef system and not just so much behind, which we have to clean a lot out. And now removing this whole entire system right here, you can see the roots are everywhere. They have grown out of the bottom of these. And these are basically the same. I mean, a lot of people mistake them for sea cucumbers on the beach, but no, these little things that you find on the beach, these are mangrove seeds. They grow into big mangrove trees, but of course you can prune them and keep them nice and stout and instead of letting them grow tall. And they do grow very fast. So just like lilies and I, freshwater aquarium. These are awesome for a saltwater aquarium, especially in a little mini reef to help keep those balances that can have parameter swings overnight like we know. Yeah, you really got yourself tangled up in there. Looking at that, goodness, I gotta be almost a little gentle to not rip these things apart. Look, it's through. It's through the filter mesh. Entirely through it. It's speared it. Yeah, if you want an excellent way to destroy this mesh, if you ever had one perfectly intact, yes, yeah, this right here. Go ahead and plant you some mangrove seeds right in the back of your aquarium mesh because these things are like bulletproof. That's it. They look like they're easy to pull out, but they are not. This is like, it's very similar to like ginger, I could say, ginger root. The thing's strong. And that's about all I can harvest out. And this. So I'd say that's two pretty good successful root starting systems on these little baby mangroves right here. Time to clean this dirty filter media mesh. Nice and clean. Mm, piece of bubble algae, like a tapioca pearl. Anybody? Yum. Ugh. And so here what we're gonna do, I just have these two cable ties. Cut the excess, and we're gonna use it to fasten these babies right to there. Right to there. I think just like that would be nice for now. Except you see that crab back there in the middle? I'm worried that he's gonna climb up these roots. I don't know, this is kind of a gamble here. Beautiful. What the heck, this tiny little shrimp. Can we see it? Just fell off this rock. We're trying to rearrange the coral. This tiny little phytoplankton looking shrimp. Put him back in. Because I'm trying to rearrange the coral and I want to put these polyps a little more on the bottom. So yeah, not nah, just, just jumped off. Just felt right to reinforce the bottom half. And not to mention, I rearranged a few things. It's like playing chess when you have these little frags of coral everywhere. Out with the old carbon, in with the new. Same bio balls, though. And gently place... Look at how good those look. Put it all the way back down. Perfect. Tank is beautifully spotless and clean. Let's plug this bad boy back in. Woo! Not to mention how much more these little mangrove trees are actually gonna grow because they are directly under the light now. Prior, they were all the way in the back, in the shade, which is still good because mangroves do thrive in the shade, but now, oh, uh, they're gonna grow fast. Now we're trying to catch a piece of bubble algae. Where'd it go? Over there. Where? Oh, it's going in the crack, come on. You got, got it. it. All right, another piece of the devilish bubble algae. To the drain you go. Three days after filming it, beautifully. They're actually even starting to open up a little bit more, if you could see, just a little bit more. And this is it. This is literally approximately four months of growing. So if you plan on growing some baby mangroves yourself, or you want to see the progress of these little suckers grow, make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, hit that notification bell. So these things sprout. Because if you don't, they're probably going to die. As always, stay adventurous 
A1A Adventures.